when I left, okay? She drags me into the bathroom um, the morning I left, which is bad enough because I just been in there pushing a crayon, right? And she <laughs> points out these fugly towels she just bought, which to her credit, might have had, might have had little teeny tiny poopy stain on them. And she points it out, she's like, don't you know how to use soap? And I never took a class on this subject, but over the years, I think I have mastered the bathing process, and I consider toweling to be part of it, to pick up anything I might have missed in the shower, and clearly that's true by that shit stain on her precious fucking towels. <laughs> yeah, but she's all, I guess you're not gonna use your poopy stained towel, you go out and buy us new towels. And I did, I went out and bought brown towels. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> she was mad the night before. I'm, we're, well, I'm sleeping, right? I'm having this beautiful dream about not being married, right? And she's laying next to me wearing this ratty shit. I mean, the minute I said I do, all that sexy shit she used to wear when we were dating went out the fucking window. And out of some hidden box came ratty jeans, holy t-shirts, panties up the fucking ear. <laughs> She's laying there, and she, and she punches, middle of the night, she punches me. I'm like, what? She goes, you're snoring. So we both gotta be awake and pissed off? What the fuck? She's been mad at me for months, ever since she caught me masturbating, wearing her good dress. Whatever. <laughs>